welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating a fun, colorful look. I had did an Instagram poll um, a few days ago. Asking what you guys want to see more of a fall look for a seasonal change, which that should be up already. Or a colorful look for some color, and it was around 70 to 30 percent. I know in the previous video I said 60 to 40, but it's like 70 to 30. So, um, overall, the fall season did win, but I did say that I'm still going to be doing that summer look for you guys because I know you guys want to see both. So, we will be doing that today, and I hope it's, did I say summer? Because that's not right. Most of you guys wanted to see this fun, kind of colorful look, so we'll go ahead and get into it. I think I'm inspired by Flounder off of The Little Mermaid because he's like yellow and blue, right? I think that's what I'm inspired by, so I hope I hope it goes well. The products that I will be using will be in the description box below. I try to, on every video, to include all the products um, on my best. Just go ahead and hop into the video, and we'll see if it turns out good. So I've already primed my eyes, and now I'm going to go ahead and hop into the color. The reason why you want to prime your eyes with um, a concealer, a foundation, or just a normal eye primer so your eyeshadows can last longer and have more pigment. I'm going to hop into the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's a warm yellow mustard color. It's called Creamsicle. I'm going to be taking that Creamsicle shade on a fluffy eyeshadow brush, a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to be applying that in my crease. It's a little bit of a darker yellow than I am trying to get. But if I use a light hand and really good blending, I think it'll turn out to be the kind of thing that I want. Oh girl needs a mirror. And right now I ain't got one. Since this shade is so pigmented, I'm going to drag this color down about a quarter or a third of my lid so it can easily blend out with the other colors that I'm going to be using. Now that I have laid down that nice yellow mustard kind of shade for a darker tone, <laughs> I'm going to go into my Coastal Scents 78 Shadow Blush Palette. One of these yellow shades, probably going to mix these two together, and I'm going to apply them all over my eye and kind of blend it upwards into the crease just so it has a bit of a different yellowy tone. I'll be going into my other Coastal Scents palette. This is actually one that I have designed myself. Canary Gold. It looks like that. It's like a very bright, shimmery, um, yellowy gold kind of color. I'm going to use my finger with the same shade, and I'm just going to be packing that on. I'm going to be 
taking another Coastal Scents shade that is called Azure Frost. It looks like this. And that's how it shows up. And I'm going to be putting that on my lower lash line, like, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking my pinking finger and I'm going to dip it into the Azure Frost shade. And that's just going to intensify the pigment for my lower lash line. If you have a white eyeliner pencil, I would put that in my waterline. Since I do not have that, I'm just going to skip that stuff. you have this done, you can mascara on your bottom lashes, which is what I'm going to be doing. Next, I'm going to be taking some false lashes. I'm going to be using Dodo Lashes in the style D115. I have an affiliate code that will help you with some cash off if you guys want to um, buy some yourself. That will be in the description below as well. Little disclaimer, of course you don't have to use it at all since it is an affiliate code. But if you do, do fancy yourself in buying some of these, that would probably help in saving you some cash but it's totally optional. I'm back and I have the lashes on and they applied amazingly awesome. That was probably one of the best eyelash, false eyelash experiences that I've ever had. Um, these eyelashes are actually really dramatic and I didn't un really realize that they were very dramatic until I put them on. But I still like them a lot. Like I said, there's an affiliate code in the description below if you guys want to purchase some of these yourself. But of different um, styles besides D115. These are a popular style. Here comes the fun part. So I'm gonna go ahead and take LA Girls Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This is in the shade white. And I'm using a toothpick to get some of this, just a little bit. I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm going to apply three little dots underneath the tail of my brow. Now that we have our dots on our eyes, I'm going to be taking Hard Candy's Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner. This doesn't really have a shade, but it is a white glitter, and I'm going to be taking a different toothpick, and I'm going to be taking this brown and putting some on the toothpick. And I'm going to be applying that on top of the dots to add some shimmer to it. With the dots on there, I'm going to be taking a shimmery kind of pop of color. I'm going to actually go back into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to be taking one of these two shades. Probably, I'll probably mix both of them in. I'm going to put that, put that as my inner corner. Now since we're going with kind of the frosty theme for my highlighter, I'm getting Laura Geller's Baked Gelato Highlighter in Diamond Dust. It has a bit of a pink tone, if you can tell. Last but not least, we're going to be applying lipstick, and since we have really bold eyes, I decided to go with a My Lips But Better lipstick color. I'm using Tardis Lip Paint in Birthday Suit, and I'm going to be applying that all over my lips. If you guys liked this look, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below telling me what you guys would like to see next. So much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.